Yo, what's up everyone? This is Kai, the other half of uh, the Monic Duo Collections here, coming at you with actually a new thing on the channel. Uh, we got some Yu-Gi-Oh! packs here. Uh, we got some um, Legendary Duos, Rage of Raw. We have uh, one box of the uh, Dragon's Legend, the Complete Series, and we also have the Tin here as well. So, we're going to start branching out on the channel. Of course, Pokemon is going to be the mainstay, which is, which I have a crap ton of Pokemon products to open up. Uh, we have the Darkness of Blaze booster box. Once again, we have some uh, blister packs of Darkness of Blaze. Uh, there, there was a booster pack, but I already opened that up. I couldn't wait. Uh, but I didn't get anything fire than that. Um, all I got was a uh, was a green cold card. Let me go ahead and turn on this light here. Bringing this up. There we go. So, anyways, uh, let's get started with. You know what? So I'm gonna up one of these. So my history with Yu-Gi-Oh is I started out with the anime, and then I went to CVS. The CVS used to have cars. I think they still do actually. And they had a deck. And I picked up the Settle Card Blast Star deck because I will be honest, I do love the Blue Eyes White Dragon. So I got into Yu Gi Oh! during the Dual Monsters era, but I do love GX. I do love 5Ds. I do love the Exceed Monsters. So. What I love about this is that it's very easy to open up, and of course what we're looking for here is the Ghost Rare Green Dragon of Raw. Alright. We have Mechlord, Emperor Cranel, we have Token Sunday, Psychic Shockwave, ooh, we got a Ultra Rare Blaze Cannon. So that so this is a hit. Something over there. And we got a Makura the Destructor. Now what I love about Yu-Gi-Oh! packs compared to Pokemon is that they they won't really go up in value that quick compared to Pokemon cards, because obviously anytime that there's a new Pokemon product with a Charizard, well, obviously that's going to go up in value. I mean, that's why Champions Path is a is a hard to find set right now, which we did get lucky. We did find a Elite Trainer box, and we did uh, started to get some regular booster packs of it. Unfortunately, you can't get regular booster packs of it, but thanks to Collector's Cash, we're starting to stock up. And I love how easy the Yu-Gi-Oh packs are to open as well. And again, there there will be more Razor Raw openings on this channel. All right, we have same card as before: Mechlord and Emperor's Cranal, Token Sunday, Jinzo, Ejector, Monster Reborn, the Rares coming up, and just a normal. A normal, normal, oh my god, a normal, rare, Mech Lord Disruptor, so. Alright. Now what's crazy is, is that, I prefer playing the Yu-Gi-Oh card game over the Pokemon card game because the Yu-Gi-Oh card game is a lot more strategic. Whoops, accidentally kicked my tripod, my bad guys. Um, because it does take more strategy, but I do think that the Pokemon TCG game is actually a good start for beginners that want to get into like, uh, you know, card games for sure. My favorite character is a 10, which is kind of ironic, but I, I actually have, I'm actually working on a 
a Dark Magician deck. So. Yeah, I don't think we damaged it. Alright, once again, Mechlord, the Epper, Epper, Epper Cradle, Jinzo, uh, Jinzo Jector. What does this card do? This card name becomes Jinzo while on the field in the graveyard. You can shift this card down with your monster from your deck to your hand. Ooh, then reveal a set cards in your gear. Put a spell on trap cards if they are shut You can spell some just some monsters from here. Oh, this, mmm. I might have to make a Jinzo theme deck. And we have Token Sunday, Monster Reborn, and a rare Makura the Destructor. Destructor. I'm going to be both recording for the third channel all day today. Alright. We have Boon of the Mechlord Emperor. Mechlord Astral Dragon. Asterisk? I don't even know how to say that. Mechlord Fortress. Psychic Shockwave. A normal rare mech lord astral the eradicator so far we only have one ultra rare because that's perfectly fine Should have had these all pretty open, but oh well. Right. Holding arms. Mech Lord Emperor. I mean, let's try to say that. Chaos Infinity. Mind Control, Reactor Slime, which is just a rare. Let me clean this up here. Well, that sure opened weird, didn't it? That was weird. Just bumping into that. All right. We have McLord Army of Weasel. Mechlord Emperor's Reason. Another one. The Resolute Mechlord Army. Ooh, Law of the Cosmos. This is a super rare. And a rare Psychic Mecha Cyber. So we did get a hollow once again. Two spell cards. And we have our last rage overall. 
So pretty much... We're doing pretty okay. We still have these two right here we are going to be opening in this video. Yes, we are going to be getting the Yugo stuff out of the way in this video, because why not? Alright. I love how easy they make the Yu-Gi-Oh card like, pack to be open compared to the freaking modern day Pokemon ones. Jinzo Returner. Mechlord Fortress. Jinzo himself. Mechlord Emperor's skill and a rare Mound of the Bound Creator. I think I might actually make myself a Jinzo deck. <laughs> uh, my girlfriend hates it when I summon Jinzo on her. Because my main deck is pretty much made to where no matter what card you play, I'm always going to have the advantage. And he's speaking of a card, Amplifier. Mind Control. Metal Resurrect Slime. We got an Ultra Rare. No, this is a Super Rare. Mechlord Nucleus... Infin Infinity Core and a rare Cosmo Ch Cosmos Chanling. So you know what? We got three hollows out of here. We we got some cards I am probably gonna make as a gentle deck. I think that would be pretty unique. So I'm actually satisfied. Uh, again, we're not done with this set because we do plan on getting a booster box of it and. Uh, Gonna pull that freaking ghost rare, that ghost rare raw, or who knows? Her side of the pulls, she might get it. So let's go ahead and open up Dragons Legends of the Complete Series. I know this comes with it comes with two Dragon Legends of the Complete Series packs. Each pack contains eight, 18 cards, one of seven secret reverend cards, and one of three collectible cards. Open here. Right. Here's the packs. Our secret rare is the Wizard of Tomorrow. Be careful with this, I don't want to bend it or... Be very careful with this. And it's crazy how they're starting to make Time Wizard cards. You know, Time Wizard. It's a fusion. I'm assuming you're going to need Time Wizard. Yeah, Time Wizard plus one effect monster. So this should be pretty easy to get on the field. Put him in the back. Uh, what dice did we get? Did we get the Tamaris? It is! We got the Tamias one, which is, I mean, arguably my favorite dragon of the, of the Season 4 Arc of Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm trying to get this open here. I 
doesn't take up too much time. It has a beautiful dye for sure. And, it ha and what's interesting though, they actually have the Japanese Yu-Gi-Oh logo on here. No, they don't. It's actually the American one. My bad. It kind of it kind of went Japanese, which we've been watching the um, subbed Yu-Gi-Oh. All right. Here we go. Prediction ritual. Power Canadian Zebra Grass. Guardian Dead Scythe. The Blazing Mars. Power Cardian Willow. Raid Raptor Nepalm Dragonus. Number C5 Chaos Chimera Dragon. Prediction Princess Arrow Spike. Raw's this fight draws disciple. That's a hit. Number 101, the Marion Dragon. Nice. Ooh. Tomb Kingdom. Shooting Star. Special schedule. Prediction Princess, Goddess Bow, Aquarium Set, Performable Yoni, and Flower Cardian Pine. So we got three hollows out of that, obviously. Because there's a big exceed summon fan. Cannot go wrong. In this card summon, you can spell summon up to two rolls up from your hand. They cannot be cheap except for the cheap summon life. Ooh. That's interesting. So pretty much, you can actually... If you have three of these in your deck, you can summon two of them. And then... Summon, and then the next turn, if you have uh, the God cards in your hand, you can use this to summon them. So that's quite interesting. All right, so I want this one now. Final Fusion, Soul Charge, Hannah Holding Genie, Cyber Petite Angel, Roulette Spider, Cell Let Your Souls Eatles, Tomb Rollback, Ritual Sanct Sanctuary, Shadow Tune. Ooh, we got one of the Knights, Legendary Knights Cradius. And a curry bandit. A flower, a flower cardian, pole, pole, me. How do you say that? Red eye spirit. Target one red eyes monster. Oh, that's good. Might have to make a red eyes deck. Reverse refuse, reuse, aquarium siege. Number seventy three abyss splash. Flower, uh, flower cardian pine with crane, and. The Tripper Mercur Mercury. So we did get one of the knights. Ah, sorry guys, I'm trying to you know, clean this up as best as I can. I 
Let's leave these up. Until I find my Yu-Gi-Oh thing, then I'll probably won't. I'm gonna take these out of the sleeves because I do have a Yu-Gi-Oh binder. It's actually the the Legendary Collection 2 uh, GX uh, Yu-Gi-Oh GX binder. If I recall, that's Joey's Dragon. Bex is sure does love his Tomb Monster, so we got in quite a bit of hollows in this already. Of course, of course, one is guaranteed because of because of this, but still, we're doing pretty well. All right. All right, let me pause the recording real quick. Third time's a charm. This is the Tin of Memories, and this tin is absolutely gorgeous. So I will probably will be using this to put some of my bulk cards in. And these are three hefty packs. And we do plan on opening more up on the channel if I don't get my target. Now, ironically enough, normally I have to throw this in the trash, but I'm keeping this, so. <laughs> Alright, let's get started here. Alright. Marisa's Battle Ocean, uh, Tenti Spirit, Mapura, Gladiator Beast, Sargentary, uh, Dino Wrestler Giga, Spinal Savet, how do you say that freaking name? Gladiator Beast, uh, Torix, Gladiator Beast Comeback, a super rare Time Thief Winder. Marley's Blue Slug, another super wear. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, a secret rare Zimix Yada, the Gleaming Vanguard. A ultra rare Fusion Destiny. A super rare Marley's Coil, how have you say its freaking name? A rare Emperor Majin Maju Garzette. Witchcraft, there's Drape Bean. Gar Dragon. Uh, whatever this card name is. Evil Eye of Gorgino. Nebula Dragon. Crusher, uh, Crusher Run. So I will probably put all of our hits in, probably will put all of our hits in sleeves after the end of the video. I just want to get through this, you know what, screw it. You know what, gotta save my sleeves for the Pokemon opening so I can just hear all the gasps now, but. <laughs> uh, I gotta. Gotta be a bit careful here, guys. Alright. Rise and Fire. Gar Dragon, Promethees. And I'm sorry for all the barking. Jelly Cannon. Gar Dragon Shield. Dino Wrestler. Dino Rex. Some Great Sunlight Wolf. Sorry for butchering these names. Test Panther. Amen. No, meant how do you say his name? World Legacy Gar Dragon. A Infinite Track Fortress. Mega Clops. Successor. Successor. Soul. I'm having a hard time here. 
Danger, excitement, mystery. Gladiator, gladiator, num, da da da, gladiator beast. You know what? I'm gonna let you guys read this. I'm merging the names. This is why I prefer recording these videos when everyone's asleep. It's a lot more easier. Alright. Let's go ahead and skim through these fast here. Sea Dragon. Come on. Focus. Evil Eye. Neos Fusion. Huh. Why it's not focusing. Yo. All right. Overall, this was a pretty nice video. Um, we didn't really get anything. That was more so he's looking for it. Well, except for with the uh, Dragon Legends, we did get one of the knights. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so that now I'm going to be recording all my Pokemon pack openings, even though I'm trying to do it now. But I would rather wait till everyone's asleep here because it makes things easier on me. Because I'm I'm a perfectionist. And yeah, so as always, if you all have have enjoyed this video, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to know when all my uploads go live. And as always, I'll see you all in my next pack opening. Later, guys.